This is the guide for advanced shark diving, episode three. This is looking around. Sharks are constantly scanning the horizon, looking around, being aware, being alert. So we have to kind of, when we're shark diving, you know, you want to be on that same level, you know, kind of like land predators, you know, you want to be aware of the scenarios that are going around. Um, you know, their eye contact, the, the, the level of awareness that they give is kind of the same thing you want to apply like in the water. I love having cats around for that reason, especially when they're hunting and they're just like really in tune. Um, and sharks kind of always are that way. They're always kind of very alert and aware. And so you want to give that same level of alertness. And by doing that is by looking around, being aware of what different individual sharks are in that area and scanning always because you're going to have new ones coming in. So every 10 seconds, like kind of looking around over your shoulder, each direction, and then try to identify the ones that are coming closest to you, especially before you start your dive. So you never want to give your back to a shark. And so what that means is turning and looking around at all times. And so I like to start with a scan that you should be doing and completing within 10 seconds. I start by looking over and behind you, just like a shark turns and looks behind them off your left side, then your right side, straight in front of you and directly below you. Now this is factoring in if you're on the surface. Of course, if you're down on scuba, you're at the bottom, you're gonna also need to add in above you. But always start by looking behind you on your left, looking behind you on your right or on your right and your left because they're more likely to approach from behind. So look around, be a predator. And by turning your body and doing a full complete turn, from a distance, a shark can tell that, hey, it's not very easy to distinguish which way is the front, which way is the back, and I don't necessarily have the opportunity to come in and sneak up behind this individual. That level of awareness helps to create a space bubble, so they, they really don't like to enter direct eye contact, and I've seen that over the course of years. So if you're being alert and scanning the areas, giving individuals eye contact, they treat you totally different, more as an aware predator. So always look around always look behind you try to be looking and aware the one thing that i really like to stress though on that is like if there's 30 sharks and they're all over the place and it's super intense you don't want to be spastic and you're looking around like oh my god dude they're everywhere freaking out because they pick up on that energy um so when you're looking around you just want to be like calmly identifying the different areas and being casual and confident are two key components into looking around to try and be an equal predator same as the sharks i find that a lot of um, people who go out and dive with sharks, they actually have blind spots. So you should identify where your blind spot is and overcompensate for that. My blind spot I've found is sometimes when I'm on the surface and I do an initial dive down, I can't really see sharks that are coming in with the swell. So what I'll do is I look left, look right, I look straight ahead knowing that I could still have a shark coming with the swell that I can't see. I look down below and I dive down and I'll actually crane my neck up and look straight in front of me so I can see further out into the distance. Now, as visibility reduces, you need to turn and look more often. And with higher a number of sharks, so if I'm working with 50 sharks, I need to be on a constant motion. So I like to say move like a shark. So the sharks are swimming left, right. They're constantly checking behind them and above them and so you should be in a constant movement so there's no clear single direction. Now, most people who go out and swim, surf, free dive, they're gonna pick one direction, they're continually going that direction. You're gonna modify for advanced shark diving when you're purposely diving with sharks or if you're training to be a professional and guide people in the water and you're not gonna consistently go one direction so that it's really easy um, for you to just be aware of your surroundings. You should have a general awareness of which sharks are coming closer to you and their general personality or disposition. So the ones that are more dominant, you should identify those ones and consistently move to almost face them. So by looking around, you're also facing sharks, not just with your eyes and looking at them with your eyes, but you're looking at them with your whole body. So as they approach you closely, you're gonna be able to greet them, not just with eye contact, but also full body language. Now, the really advanced thing that we have to train ourselves out of is not to get locked in on one shark. So you should never lock in on any points of interest for you 
or any one shark for more than three seconds. So try this out because as you start to study shark behavior or you actually notice sharks that are coming up closer to people that you're guiding or closer to yourself, the natural instinct is to want to lock in to be ready to greet that individual or those individuals. And what you really need to do is as you have a potential situation coming, you need to continually glance over your shoulders so that you're aware of somebody else that might be even a little bit closer. If you're diving with another professional advanced diver, generally facing each other is very, very helpful because then you're helping to watch the other person's back. They're trying to key in on animals that are hurt, injured, and maybe not moving efficiently, kind of like humans in the water, most of us. Uh, and you uh, want to try and kind of show them that, hey, you're on the same level, the same playing field by being aware, by looking around, giving them as much eye contact as they're giving you, maybe even more. You know, if I'm focusing on a photo, I'll be like, here, I've got some coming close, but then I know I've seen 20 that direction, I've seen 10 over here. Um, and then every now and then kind of like doing a full body awareness turn um, to be aware of where they are in relation to you. Um, and that makes a huge difference when you're diving with sharks. So always scanning, looking in the different directions, try to identify which sharks are coming closest, which sharks are higher up, try and identify the alphas in that pack and uh, be aware.